Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian, and I have your word for the day. When your circumstances are bleak, do you put your trust in God? Like the type of trust that no matter the outcome, you're willing to follow the Lord's leading? In today's word for the day, we see the Israelites in battle against the Philistine army. They are being led by a rookie king. Saul hasn't had the benefit of growing up with nobility and generations of kings before him to learn from. He's the first of his kind. Additionally, he's leading the Israelites in a battle against the Philistines who had the benefit of iron that they used to create swords and spears for a battle just like this. The Israelites were at a major, major disadvantage and used their farm equipment as weaponry. They would battle using their axes and sickles against the swords and spears of the Philistines. King Saul and his son, Jonathan, are the only two men with real weapons. Saul's son, Jonathan, trusts God fully. His faith is demonstrated by his actions. Without telling his father the king, he and his armor bearer sneak over to the Philistine outpost. Let's read starting at 1 Samuel 14, verse 6. Jonathan said to the young man who carried his armor, Come, let us go over to the garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that the Lord will work for us, for nothing can hinder the Lord from saving by many or by few. And his armor bearer said to him, Do all that is in your heart. Do as you wish. Behold, I am with you, heart and soul. Then Jonathan said, Behold, we will cross over to the men, and we will show ourselves to them. If they say to us, Wait until we come to you, then we will stand in our place, and we will not go up to them. But if they say, Come up to us, then we will go up, for the Lord has given them into our hand, and this shall be the sign to us. So both of them showed themselves to the garrison of the Philistines. And the Philistines said, Look, Hebrews are coming out of the holes where they have hidden themselves. And the men of the garrison hailed Jonathan and his armor bearer and said, Come up to us, and we will show you a thing. And Jonathan said to his armor bearer, Come up after me, for the Lord has given them into the hand of Israel. Then Jonathan climbed up on his hands and feet, and his armor bearer after him. And they fell before Jonathan, and his armor bearer killed them after him. And that first strike with Jonathan and his armor bearer made killed about 20 men within, as it were, half a furrow's length in an acre of land. And there was a panic in the camp, in the field, and among all the people. The garrison and even the raiders tremble. The earth quaked, and it became a very great panic. Notice that Jonathan doesn't claim that God will defeat their enemies for them. He simply has faith that he can. God blessed Jonathan's faith, causing the earth to quake and instilling fear in the Philistines' hearts such that they began to flee, allowing Saul and his men to attack them as they fled and win the battle. So today, when all seems hopeless, put your faith in God. Remember Jonathan's words in 1 Samuel 14, 6, For nothing can hinder the Lord from saving by many or by a few. Trust in Him no matter the outcome. He can do marvelous things. God bless.